Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course. Next video, which is going to be uh, analytics tools. So what are the analytic tools we can use it here? Let's see data warehouse. So what is data warehouse um, is the process of collecting and storing large amounts of data from various sources into a centralized repository for purpose of analysis and reporting. So this is not any transactional data. So this is the data where we store it and use it for the analysis and reporting. A data warehouse is a large centralized database that is designed to support business intelligence which is on a BI in shortcut uh, activities such as data analysis reporting and decision making this is how we can use it the data warehouse of our data warehouse has number of benefits for the organizations including improved data quality one is how you can improve your data quality next one is faster data analysis enhanced decision making so this is very very important whenever you make any decision on the organization that should be making benefits to the organization reduced id cost so of course any organization look for any uh, spending of their business and earning more so that's how you can reduce your cost on it uh, data warehouse is not good for transaction it's good for reporting so the basically the data warehouse data type is not for the transactional database that's what i said uh, it's only for reporting analysis that's a good option to use for so let's see in that uh, what is the services available on aws so amazon redshift uh, is a fully managed petabyte scale data warehousing service provided by Amazon Web Services, which is AWS. Redshift is designed to handle large scale data warehousing and analytics workloads, making it an ideal choice for organizations that need to analyze vast amount of data quickly and efficiently. You can see that the Redshift basically goes to a petabyte scale data warehousing. So that's a huge data you can do that right petabyte of scale means like how many years of data um, you can store it on this redshift service massively pa parallel processing architecture so example say that whatever the processing you are doing on the redshift it all the threads can run at the same time so that that's the massive parallel processing method example it's not a serial method right so once run, one transaction completed another will do not like that so multiple transactions you can multiple processings right not the transactions nor multiple processes you can do at the same time so that's the huge benefit of doing your analysis and the reporting. So the reporting analysis will not take much time if you run a parallel processes. Automatic comp compression. So this compression will actually save you a lot of data, the data which you can compress. Handles exabyte scale data. So that's the major benefit here. Easy integration with a S3 data pipeline and AWS Glue. So you can integrate the data processing using the uh, S3 uh, data pipeline services in AWS Glue. So let's see what is data analytics. Analytics is the process of collecting, processing and analyzing data to gain insights and make informed decisions. It involves using mathematical statistical techniques to uncover patterns and trends in the data which can be used to inform business strategies, improve operations, optimize performance to gain deeper insight. So this is analytics basically why we run any analytics on the data because we have to understand 
any uncovered patterns if it is exist any any of them or how the business strategy is so what what are the business you are running right so what is the business strategy so inform that business strategy or uh, improved the operations how you can improve the operations so wherever it is getting lag or how the business can be improved is there any roadblocks or is there any improvements we can do in you can improve those operations using the analytics data so optimize the performance so that is the major one to do with any analytics analytics can be applied to a wide range of fields including finance marketing healthcare and sports so example if you take an sport of an analytics if you see f1 racing basically whenever the car is running on the track the f1 racing then on the fly on the stream data you can see that some analytics like how car the racing car is going like how much speed it is going how it is driving how which angle the direction is going right all this analytics data on the fly you are getting why because of this analytics services so let's see what are the analytics services are available here so the one service is athena athena is based on open source project apache presto which is distributed sql query engine so it is a uh, distributed sql query engine so that is a major important for any analytics to run it's not a serial method to do that right it's a distributed s3 query uh, query engine so with athena users can write sql queries against the data stored in s3 and retrieve results quickly regardless of the size of the data set athena supports various data formats such as csv json parquet and orc so that is the major advantage about the uh, athena so athena is powerful tool for performing ad hoc queries and analysis on large scale data sets in s3 without the need for complex infrastructure management um pay for query so it it's not much um, costlier uh, so it's just like in a pay for query so how many that much data that much fee you have to pay considered say serverless because the background infrastructure and everything is maintained by aws so next the aws glue it's a built in to top of apache spark which is an open source distributed computing system with aws glue users can define etl jobs using drag and drop interface or by writing code in python or scala uh, aws glue crawlers can automatically discover and catalog metadata about the data stored in various data stores such as aws s3 jdbc compatibility databases and amazon redshift so basically if you point your athena to do a metadata the curling of uh, aws s3 buckets right uh, so it will automatically curls the data and collects the metadata about that data which is stored on the aws s3 powerful and flexible etl service uh, helps better to understand your data um, so which actually the major option uh, curling the data so which is major thing right you no need to uh, input anything here right you can just point the data source it automatically curls kinesis kinesis allows users to collect process and analyze real time streaming data from various sources such as website click streams iot devices social media feeds so where kinesis can be used for an a streaming data like streaming data sources like the data is coming in real example uh, if you want to identify a security patterns or security um, analysis you want it to do on real time right or whenever you have a organization so you are pumping all the data 
to somewhere then the streams wherever you are pumping the data so you can connect those stream data sources to the kinesis so which can do a real time process uh, analysis right so which can collect the data in real time and process it and analysis in real time so that's the major advantages if you wanted to um, analysis any like zero day vulnerabilities where you have uh, in your organization something like that so that that would be major security point of view where you can use in real time analysis real time stream data so that is major purpose of it and supports video audio application logs uh, website click streams and iot so example if you have any video streams right example uh, you are running some you are seeing at some cricket right so one match is running so you are getting some live video feed so from there you can analyze that video feed using kinesis now it can be used for applications such as security monitoring industries automations and live streaming so that's the uh, real time uh, use case so example security monitoring right so one person came right you wanted to trace him in a kinesis you can do that so handles terabytes of data per hour one more service which is an elastic map radius which is called as an emr uh, it is designed to make it easy to process large amounts of data using popular big data processing frameworks like apache adobe apache spark and apache hive so this is the um, map reduce service basically uh, from the open source platforms like uh, apache hadoop apache spark apache hive so amazon emr includes pre-built installations for hadoop spark and other big data platforms um, processing tools making it easy for users to get started so basically this is a big data like platform right where you can use the a number of services to do your processing stuff um, works with data frameworks analysis data using hadoop built scalable data pipelines so build and scale the pipelines so that's the major hadoop feature where you can build the pipelines from the multiple streams and process the data process a real-time streams so that's the advantage for here so another service which is a data pipeline is a web service provided by the aws that helps users to easy easily move data between different aws services and on-premises data sources it allows users to define data processing workflows that can automate the movement and transmission of data from various sources to their desired destinations. So move data at a specific intervals by scheduling it. So the data pipelines can be run as in a scheduled pipelines. So that is the um, one thing you can use it for. Uh, most the data based on specific conditions so uh, what are the conditions you require to move the data example so and so is the logic behind it so you can define the logic then it can use that conditions to move the data since notifications on success and failure service is called an a quick site it provides users can easy to use interface for creating and sharing visualizations without the need for specialized technical knowledge so if you want to run any graphics visualization right you just say uh, go to quick site and point the data source then you can visualize it so you can draw any type of graphs here using the quick site you just select the chart type then select the source then it will automatically do your data visualization part so you don't need to be any specialized skill you have on that visualization 
but of course you have to have some uh, statical analytical skill so how you can do that what is the data can we go here and there but you don't need to be in specialized in that you just have a, a sample how you can do the analytics so interactive visualizations like you can do bar charts line charts scatter plots and more so that's the uh, quick site can do dashboards creations so this is a major for a business intelligence kind of dashboards layouts themes and images can be used here uh, collaboration and sharing sharing options such as embedding dashboards in websites and blogs so you have data predictions analytics are the um, dashboards you have created the same dashboards can be embedded in any other websites so to integrate with other services data exploration drill down to a specific data so that is exactly required for your uh, any data analysis platform question so you have to get some answer i will give you a few seconds to guess it what is the service you can use to search data in s3 which is answer is Athena so Athena can do a search data in s3 bucket so where Athena you can just point it to the s3 bucket which can actually do the metadata curly so the next question let's see which service helps to analyze the logs from real stream so which service can helps you to analyze the logs from a real stream guess it which is kinesis near real time for an app monitoring right so where you can just uh, uh, point the real time streaming data so which can do a near to real time analysis for that data so that's about this video guys thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses do share with your friends and family so they also learn along with you